This research program is uh, designed against a, a policy backdrop, um, a national disaster resilience agenda, um, which is something that is developed and closely attended by governments at all levels. And that's, uh, that if you like poses um, additional challenges to this organisation because uh, it's very rare for a property research centre to find itself working upwards to particular national policy goals. But I can tell you we're very focused on the fact that, uh, that uh, governments at various levels uh, have said, have expressed their need for this type of research. The other thing that does is uh, makes, uh, is provides us with a lot of challenges in designing and operating this cooperative research centre because it brings to the table many other players who have not in the past been engaged with, tropical, with uh, cooperative research centres and sometimes not been engaged particularly with research. So a lot of the challenge we'll face over the years as we build this organisation towards success is to make sure those uh, agencies um, acquire the ability to make the most of the results that, that uh, are generated by the research program. So I think uh, we're quite used to the idea and particularly in uh, the pre-existing bushfire CRC and I note Gary Morgan, the CEO of that organisation is here. Um, we're quite used to uh, the fact that uh, we have to do research on a broad palette. It's about preparedness, it's about uh, planning, it's about response, it's about recovery. It's, a, it's that whole spectrum of activities. But um, in this CRC, we, we find ourselves with an even more focus on another word that starts with P, and that is people. People who, uh, who by their individual decisions, determine uh, our ability to successfully manage hazards and uh, and create and go and do all of the things that are necessary and <clears throat> that I think um, is summed up in that one word in that national agenda that I talked about and that is resilience this uh, this research program over the next eight years is focused on the, on creating and sustaining resilience in our communities as well as our infrastructure to enable us to manage and mitigate the effects of, of of natural hazard events. So um, we're embarking on an eight-year journey now. It'll be a substantial activity. It'll be an activity where uh, that will, uh, to which people will contribute sums well in excess of 100 million. And uh, our desire is that we get to the end of this process with a very clear and evident contribution to to the to the national good and to the uh, strength and resilience of Australia in the face of natural hazards. Thank you.